Hello guys, welcome back to Inspired to DIY. In today's video, I'd like to share how I was able to transform this pink bucket into an ottoman with storage. Stay tuned for the end result and let's get into it. This is the bucket that I'll be using for the project. It's this really strong and sturdy. Got it from Walmart for about $2.95. Also got the one inch foam there as well. And what I'll do next is wrap the foam board all around the bucket using some spray adhesive and also some hot glue. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're here for the first time go ahead subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my next DIYs. I continued to glue the foam board all around the bucket and make sure that it was all tucked in before I move to the next step. For the top part, I went on and cut a smaller piece of foam and tucked it in nicely so it can level up with the rest of the bucket. Go ahead and get the foam ready for tufting and I will be using the swamba shape to mark all my fall prints. Using this makes it a lot easier to pinpoint my dots and if you're doing this you can use anything that is square shape just turn it around like a rhombus or diamond shape. Once all my prints were added, I then went on and got my scissors and started making some holes. I did not make my holes really big, just enough for me to know where the tufting should be done. After that, I went on and added my batting by using some spray adhesive. Next, I'll be using this fabric shower curtain that I got from Walmart. And to actually do the tufting, I'll also be using my staple gun and just staple where each of the holes were. And for the bottom part, I went on and used hot glue and started gluing it down. As you can see, the staples were showing to the bucket, so what I do, I took my scissors and started pushing the ends down. Although I'll be adding some poster board inside, I still wanted it to be less sharp. Now it can easily be used without hurting myself. Next, I went on and started stippling down the end of the fabric from the inside of the bucket. Thank you. 
Once that was done, I took a poster board and cut it to size to fit in the bucket. However, I had to make different sections just because it was not large enough. I also used some hot glue to keep the poster board in place. Next, to cover the staples, I'll be using those buttons that I got from Walmart. I got about two pack of them and I'll go ahead and hot glue them where each of the top were made. For the top part of the ottoman, I then cut the sides some cardboard and I then glue them together and I'll go ahead and repeat the same exact step by adding some foam, some batting and make my tufts. The whole piece was ready I then took some fabric and started doing the tough thing just like I've previously done for the bucket itself. For the remaining of the fabric, I then stapled it down to the back and then cover it with poster board. And to finalize everything, I then went on and added all the gems. This is the final piece and I really love how it turned out. I love the pattern of the marble. I cannot believe I was able to use bucket and a shower curtain from Walmart to make this really beautiful storage and ottoman. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this project, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my next projects. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.